Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had a busy day of news and leaks yesterday in the FC25 world. We had price range updates. We had prices dropping. Yes, dropping on the market. And we had news that might bring us the first promo icon and hero versions of FC25 this Friday. That is crazy. Yes, we have to talk about those leaks maybe coming with the Champions League Road to the Knockouts promo. That's going to impact the market a lot, which is really what we need to discuss today. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go to the SBC section and cover yesterday's Monday content first, where we did have our first upgrade SBCs of FC 25. The 77 double upgrade, which oddly enough, we can only complete three times and there's a refresh timer there so maybe it's three times a day it's not showing on console at the moment i'm guessing it's three times a day really random number but also random requirements seven rares four comments to get this done and to be honest yeah, sure, it's an upgrade pack, but how many of us really want to do these at this stage of the game when there's only a team of the week in packs right now and we have a promo upcoming this weekend? Will these be worth stocking up for the new promo? I don't think so. Like, I Honestly, I haven't done too many SBCs like this because firstly, my number one motivation is getting the League and Nation Hybrid or Hybrid Nations SBCs done just because you get a whole lot more players from those packs. So if you've got those done, then maybe you're going and doing an upgrade SBC or just to get your three done per day just because it is pretty cheap and if you've been doing gold upgrades these are technically better than that anyway so it's there i don't think it's really hype but it is there now the other sbc we had yesterday was an insta complete i think for a lot of people alex garcia the bundesliga leverkusen midfielder he goes boom straight into my team and guys this sbc might be the best value sbc card and honestly, the best player SBC that we've had so far this year. I already got five games on him. He is awesome. Press Proven Plus is great. The stats are amazing. And with an anchor chem style, he looks really cracked. The play styles I love. He's got Dead Ball, Tiki Taka, Pinged Pass, Anticipate, and of course the Press Proven Plus, which is so nice in the midfield. I run him as a box-to-box -box, uh, center mid with the Roll Plus. There he also has CDM Deep Lying Playmaker. He's really, really good. His passing is awesome. 90 long pass, 88 short pass, 88 vision with the Tiki Taka and the Pink Pass. He is awesome, man. And again, like I said, two challenges, an 84 and an 80. Two rated squad, really easy to get done. And it actually made a lot of Leverkusen players go up on the market yesterday. Frimpong, even Florian Verts, who's like an 80,000 coin card, was up a lot yesterday because this is just an SBC that maybe a lot of people didn't have links to in their team. You see this often with like SBCs from like Syria or maybe Liga Portugal at some points of the year as we get like a great player from a league that not too many people have uh, players of in their squad. You see links to that go up, and that's kind of happening here from pong 26k to 38,000 coins back down a little bit a lot of your leverkusen cards were up yesterday because of this sbc and honestly of that card for that price for a player that's going to be fodder for the rest of the year funnily enough i packed his 84 rated gold card while doing his sbc or right before doing his sbc so that was kind of funny but like look at that upgrade how can you not like this card man for the price that's so cheap that it is plus 13 pace makes a really unusable card and a guy we probably wouldn't use anyway usable we love these types of sbcs it's got almost 1900 upvotes it's an insta complete um even if it's just a super sub for your bench i think that is a good sbc to have so great one there we love that from ea now i want to go to the rush section of the game really fast because we had a brand new rush mode well the one that ea originally put out that they ended up fixing it's the slow it down rush mode it is silvers only guys and i haven't played it yet because i've maxed out my rush weekly rush objective so far but this looks so fun overall max 74 so it's only silvers max pace is 85 and the status you have to have on tradable items once again i'm a little bummed by this to be honest because it would have been better i think for the name of the event for it to be max um 74 pace like 85 pace is still pretty fast so i don't know there's definitely some silver players in my club that i'll be interested in trying out through that it's probably going to be pure chaos but that's one of the things that we love about rush and also if you haven't gotten all your rush points yet play that mode because when i logged in yesterday to check that mode out the first couple of bonus objectives i had down the right side you know where you have those bonus boxes right was um player under 85 rated player under 80 rated which obviously when a 74 rated cap is on the objective event 
then you can't have anybody that high rated in there. So it was like just a free bonus anyway. So check that out if you haven't got your rush points done yet. Um, I know this is closing in. I don't know when this is going to reset. I'm guessing it's going to reset on, on Wednesday because that is when I think this came out. We saw this last Wednesday when we got on the game. That's a question that we have right now. The weekly rush objectives. It's weekly. I don't see a date on here or anything that is a timer. It's kind of different from like the seasonal ones, which reset in a couple of days, or like the live ones, of course, which are out for only two more days for David Alaba. So we're going to have to see when that rush resets. That'd be really, really interesting. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'm missing it. Still trying to figure out where all some of this stuff is inside of the new aspects of FC 25. Now let's talk about those price range changes as well. I actually made a little bit of an investment on one of them. I bought a Saliba yesterday for 225,000 coins and that's kind of where he is right now in price. He's kind of in that same range. A lot of these prices yesterday really messed up the market, guys. Like 100% it is related to the price range updates that happened. People started selling cards to go and buy these new ones that people had not been able to buy before because they were extinct. Now, Saliba was extinct at what, like 150? And he's been between 220 to 230 after he got upgraded. Jude Bellingham is another very popular name out there, which a lot of people are looking to invest in. And I think this is a good investment. He was as low as like 390 or 400 flat, and he's kind of been between a 400 to 420, 430 range. But he's going out of PAX Friday, allegedly, for the road to the knockout promo. He is in it as it was leaked. So that could be a card that continues to rise up, even though the market's not feeling so hot. After yesterday, we talk about prices dropping. Um, this card still, to me, is a decent investment because there's a lot of mixed opinions on if Jude is good or if he's not good in game, but it's Jude Bellingham. He's the cover star of the game. He's 90 rated. He's going to be rare-ish to pack at least and have a lot of hype. So those, those are some of the cards right there that got price range updates. There's so many though. And if you actually want to see them all, you can go on Footbin Market and you can click on price range updates. It's kind of behind the camera at the moment, but It'll pull up this page and it'll show you all the players that had price range updates yesterday. There was actually a good chunk. Uh, Shuomeni is now almost extinct again at 40,000 coins. Uh, we even had like a late upgrade of prices on Openda and a few others. He is now on the market. That price is still not showing correctly, but he is on the market. Now, the biggest thing with some of these cards yesterday, a lot of people are asking, Nate, do I need to sell a Nico Williams now? Do I need to sell a Phil Foden? Nico Williams just keeps slowly rising. He was 110K, I think, when his price got updated. Now he's 145. Phil Foden was like also 120,000 coins. He's now 140. He's slowly rising. And then Chiesa might have done the best. Chiesa was 83K, and now he's 114,000 coins. So pretty nice rise on the market for a lot of those meta tier cards. Again, we talk about the market dropping, though. Right in line, like right when these prices got updated yesterday, you could see Militao was between his normal 140 to 150. Boom, dropped off down to 140 flat. Had a big drop off there, and that's not even the biggest drop off. Kyle Walker yesterday, right when price ranges got updated, which was midday UK time, he went from 82K all the way to 72,000 coins. De Jong is another one who I actually uh, shouted on the stream yesterday as a pretty good opportunity to invest in buy in the panic. He went from 90K down to 78k. I was saying if you can get this guy for like 75, 76, he'll go back up and he did. He just he just hit 84,000 coins. So you're seeing some good demand on the market, but also at the same time, like if you go through and look at a lot of prices yesterday, even another gold card, it's it's really a lot of the gold cards that, that are down bad in value that a lot of people were selling yesterday. Salah went from 340 to 315. He still bounced back up a little bit, but guys, like prices on the market are not doing so good. And it's been the last two days in a row now where we've seen a lot of prices dropping, some of them bouncing back, even on some of the team of the week cards like Messi. It just feels like we're running out of demand on the market a little bit. And that worries me ahead of this weekend, especially with some of the leaks we're going to talk about today too. Now, some of the other price ranges that got updated were very good. Like this Osamen, you can finally sell him. He's one of the cheapest 87s now. He probably was really good to bid on. I would say even still now, if you want to just get on and try to make some quick coins bidding and flipping, Osamen would be a great card to do that with, as well as Gundawan. I probably undersold Gundawan. I think he was actually selling for like 9k though. That's how low some of these cards were that got their price range updates as they got, you know, slammed with supplies, people were listing them and now kind of coming back up. And also there were some heroes with price range like downgrades as well. I didn't realize how many heroes were not selling on the market because they their minimum price was like 60K. 
So Dudek was one of those. Uh, Peter Crouch was one of those. I didn't realize this, but I just picked one up at 42K because I thought it was a little bit cheap. I feel like people, oh, there's another one there. I feel like people may want to wake up today and just try a card like that out because now he's at a lot more of a actual price instead of just, you know, sitting at his minimum price on the market. But guys, really yesterday, like we're saying, revealed that the market's a little a little sketchy still like there's not as much demand or prices are not going to continue rising at the rapid pace that they were lamina mall is like right around 100k flat he was he's been under 100k you see right here 98,000. so i'm a little bit worried about that heading into what is upcoming here soon now let's get into the big news which worries me a little bit more about the market guys and it is this this tweet yesterday i don't think a lot of people realize how massive this is, but it's starting to come around. I think people are starting to realize this is huge, okay? Foot Scoreboard, who leaks a lot of pack code and a lot of card designs, somehow gets information on the back end of the game, is saying some interesting card designs from the game files. What do you think about them? Well, again, guys, I want to notice this tweet here and, and say that it's not Taram and Hazard that we're looking at for like the leaks here. So kind of ignore the player, but look at the card design, right? Those look like champions league related ish especially this one it looks champions league related ish i don't know for sure and we're still gonna have to see we're gonna have to wait for a card name but if these are champions league related heroes and icons that means they're probably coming out either this friday or next friday during the road to the knockouts promo which is expected to be our first promo of the year of course we've had the whole team leaked we're gonna look at that a little bit here in this video today too but this is crazy Last year, the first time that we had promo icons, I believe, was during Thunderstruck, and those were live cards. And guys, if these are related to the Road to the Knockout promo, which is a live and updating card promo, these could be live icons and heroes off of the full release day of FC25. That is bonkers. It reminds me of Thunderstruck last year. Remember during Black Friday when we had all of these cards? It was so hyped. Those are the first live upgrading icon cards of all time. Imagine that on the first Friday of the full game of the year. Crazy. Now, this is why the market could be in a little bit of panic mode because of this. This is huge, right? And people are gonna be wanting to open a lot of packs if all of this, a whole promo team of players, plus those icons and heroes, however many of them, that will be live and upgrading could potentially be in packs. That's the situation and how it looks right now, according to the leaks. This is the whole league team so far. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in a video upcoming because, I mean, we're pretty much expecting Road to the Knockouts this Friday based on all the leaks. And now with this being out too, it's kind of like, I mean, I don't know. That looks Road to the Knockout Champions League-esque to me. I know that the car designs usually have some sort of like champions league branding on them or europa league that's the only thing that makes me a little bit hesitant around these cards so are they going to be related to road to the knockouts or are they not going to be that's the question that we really have to ask ourselves but regardless i think this is going to cause a little bit of market dropping or at least people won't be wanting to buy as many cards and spending as many coins in the next couple of days which i think we knew was coming to an extent which is why we have been hinting at over the last couple of days being careful about what specific certain cards you were maybe buying just because this is the time last year where people started to think about the full release of the game which is coming this friday and that means a lot more people are getting on the game and of course there's going to be the first promo of the year and i think last friday i don't know how big the pack was but last year on the first friday rather ea dropped the biggest craziest promo pack that we had seen of course the first week i think it was like a 350k pack literally the first weekend of fc24 of the standard edition release and that sort of thing is gonna happen again you know the packs don't get smaller they only get bigger just look at weekend league rewards this year right so that's the worries about the market right now is that there's going to be a lot of supply, a lot of packs open this weekend, and that could in turn make prices drop because that's exactly what happened last year. There was a nice drop heading into from like today, Tuesday, Wednesday of last year of the early access period into Friday. There was a pretty solid drop in the market because people were selling ahead of the supply that did end up coming. And actually the full release last year did hurt some prices even more, especially on the low tier. So that is what I would tell you to be careful with right now, specifically the low tier. 
Endrick is 15,000 coins. That's ridiculous. But he's going into evolutions. That's probably what it is. Um, you know, cards like Colt Palmer, cards like Inaki Williams, Correa, who did get updated in price. He's on the market now. Even Marcus Llorente, the most used card in FC25 right now. He was down yesterday. He's probably going to drop further with this promo this weekend um, with a lot of the, the panic and the hype. And obviously, lower rated cards just get packed a lot more. We've been saying that a lot. Those are the types of players you want to be really, really careful with in the next day or two. And I would probably try to transition those out of your team. Lower rated starter team players, transition those out, take the coins. And that way you have more coins for that when those prices drop this weekend. If you need to buy the same players, you can go in and buy them then. So I'm not saying that market prices are going to absolutely get destroyed starting today. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. All I'm saying is the past two days in this market have felt very stagnant and felt very like the market does not have a lot of demand and that's what worries me a little bit i want to say this too because i think it's a very common misconception a lot of people think that the prices peak on the very first weekend league of the year that used to be the case before ea dropped as many crazy packs as they do now nowadays the last couple years in this game we do have some really big drops on the actual full release of the game because there's a big promo out and there's big packs and then after that there are a couple price rebounds here or there but only on the super meta top tier cards and then it lasts for like a week and then usually at the first weekend league like last year prices tank right beforehand and then they go up afterwards so the market's a lot different than it used to be so the common misconceptions that we you know, have from earlier years kind of have to be rewritten. And of course, every year is different on the market. I think we all expected a higher rise on the market in the last two or three days. And the market really seemed to be stagnant. Prices were not doing very good. People were not buying as many cards, spending as many coins, and prices were really just kind of mid. So we're kind of, yeah, we're just waiting and seeing what's going to happen and, and how it's going to play out. But I'm trying to keep my coins right now in just quick flips and just honest trades to be completely honest with you guys just like quick honest flip trades like these heroes here that i have a couple of uh, of at the moment bought this dudek for 50 gonna list it for 60 small trade like that you know bought this crouch for 53 43 gonna try to sell it for 53 small flips like that right now on maybe some of the price range updated players and not mess too much with the market just because this could be really crazy so let me know down in the comments do you think this is related to ucl or do you think it's something different because it looks close color wise but it also looks not quite the same. Don't know. This is going to be really, really interesting to see. I would imagine we get more leaks about what the actual name of this file card design is. And again, Hazard's not leaked. Taram is not leaked. It's just two example players on the card design. One of my pet peeves. I just wish they would post the card design. Even though the dynamic says new card design, everybody just assumes that the player on it is what is being leaked because that's the standard that has been set for those twitter leaks so obviously massive information let me know what you guys think down below in the comments it would be absolutely sick but that's going to make some market prices drop for sure as well now let's talk tuesday today i'm not expecting tuesday to be that crazy of a day but you never know you never know we could be absolutely wrong because we still have a outstanding leaked player sbc that is by the player of the month Ram card that was of course posted on twitter and i found out yesterday it was actually posted by the official siri uh, twitter account that is who posted the taram card so i guess and in the tweet as well it said that the integration was coming soon to fc25 ultimate team so here we go again another confirmation that we are getting a taram sbc and i don't know what kind of role plus or plus plus he's going to have on a player of the month but if he's anything like the boniface striker card that i have tall with a what version of the accelerate type of lengthy with high finishing he's going to be cracked if he has power shot or play style plus which i don't know if that card did or it didn't um it could be a really good sbc french links as well Syria links could be a really good card really good sbc if the price is right still waiting to see if we're going to get that that's an outstanding SBC that we have at the moment. Um, they've still been dropping a lot of these player SBCs focused on the world tour players. Like yesterday, of course, we had um, the good 20,000 coin SBC for Alex Garcia. Maybe we get another squad foundations player SBC today. Um, maybe we get a, another upgrade pack SBC. They like to drop these cosmetic evos in here. Um, the team of the week one is expiring soon. Not that that one's really cracked or good to do in my imagination, but that's could be content that's coming today as well. Is really up in the air today. We still have that center attacking mid evolution that we haven't seen uh, dropped in the game yet either. So kind of up in the air on what content could be today for sure. But 
I would have to imagine there'd be some sort of player species since we're getting one basically every single day. Maybe an objective. I mean, again, this is called early access in season one. And they keep talking about world tour and total rush inside of objectives. But the thing is also this this stuff has to be ending pretty soon because we're ending season uh, of one part of this, which is total rush and the early access period of that. So we'll just have to see what content is there. I'm not ex expecting anything crazy. The biggest thing will be if prices start to move downward on the market, how bad do they move? How much do people start panic selling? And honestly, I think it's better to be on the front end of it. And even if there's a card you think is not going to drop that much, if you're really worried about your coins, then maybe you do try to sell a little bit, take some of those coins, take some of those profits i guess and just then you don't have to worry about it so that's kind of the advice that i would give you which is kind of what i'm doing with this dudek right i got him for like 48 to 50 000 coins i just bought two of them if i can get the sales at 60k and make my nice little bit per card here i'll be very happy i still believe in a card like saliva but if the whole market's going to be dropping i'm a little worried about him i still believe in a card like bellingham as well just because they're such big names so many people want to use them and all the people that packed them and we're waiting for the price range to update have now had the opportunity to sell so that's kind of the situation we're at with on the market it's kind of a weird spot in this in-between um stage but i just feel like the onset of panic is probably around the corner and it's not going to do good things to the market so be careful with those cards and again this is one tip i'll give you guys too if you're managing an rtg no money spent once you sell cards and you have a bunch of coins, oh, you can't even see them. My face cam has been blocking it the whole time. That's right, because we were playing gameplay and I forgot to move the camera. If you have a lot of coins after you sell some cards and now you see those coins sitting up there, it's really tempting to go and do SBCs. Hold strong. Don't do it. I know there's a lot of evolutions in SBCs as well that you could go and do with those coins, but hold strong. That's part of the reason you're selling early, right? Is to save yourself from losing coins. That way, when the market itself drops, you have more coins to go out and buy players that you maybe couldn't even afford before. So that's the little market tip I would give you guys today as well. But we'll be on stream today on Tuesday, checking out the new content that we get, grinding through more division rivals, which yesterday, man, I'll tell you guys, be the honest truth, I had a good time playing rivals yesterday. Even though I drew a lot and I frauded a lot trying to figure out this, this game, uh, Diaby is cracked, this card is cracked, and I love Boniface insane card power shot is so op i need to do that evo i need to pack timo Werner because i need to do that evolution to get the power shot for the founder's evo he is so good this boniface card i can just imagine Werner up here at the at top with him osaman's good too but the chemistry is probably the issue i guess chemistry for Werner might be a bit of an issue as well but anyways i digress we'll be playing more rivals today if you want to check out our grind from yesterday check out the second channel i'll link it right above here we do have of course the daily rtg uploads going up over there but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the price range updates what you guys think about the market right now how it feels what cards you maybe have and maybe which ones you want to sell with this news of maybe live icons and heroes which would just be bonkers for the full release date of fc25 if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it of course subscribe to the channel if you're new i already said that never mind i'll see you guys in the stream today it's been nate for the count and catch you there peace out